Journeyman Pernoia, Saras, 2015, log number 432. This will be one of my last entries. The cycle is about to close. The cleansing is approaching, yet very few humans are aware of it. So far, most of them have not noticed the spread of the intraspecies predator. Having allowed this predator to worm its way into positions in institutions of high social responsibility, the psyche and emotions of a vast number of people have been contaminated, having become increasingly maladapted to the predator's pathological behavior. There are no limits or sense of balance for these biological machines without empathy. Their only law is that the scale should always be tipped in their favor. Power and control are their top goals and they are oblivious to the consequences. Humans project their own psychological reality onto these beings finding it impossible to conceptualize the existence of an entity without a speck of empathy or conscience. They have fallen into the trap of their own illusions, illusions which in turn are amplified by the system of control. Ignorance has become bliss, an ephemeral bubble of safety and comfort that distorts their perception of reality. They can only see the reality created by these masters of entropy. This widespread pathological pollution has made humans act callously and inhumanely. Violence in the streets, people killing each other, fighting the wars created by these pathological beings that only seek selfish power and control. Millions die of hunger and thirst every day, while a small group becomes increasingly rich and powerful. Corporations in charge of their health and nutrition focus on profits rather than the general well-being. The violation of the free will of the majority of living beings on the planet is the general law. Many see industrialized agriculture, farming, and the predation of SARS as a sign of progress. It's ironic. How could anyone see the destruction of their own home, their mother, and the shameful murder of its inhabitants as progress? Science and spirituality, while inextricably linked, are separated by a fierce dogmatic ideology, and instead of seeking the truth, they buried even deeper into the shadows, still keeping a tight grip on the minds of humans, and always to the benefit of the masters of entropy. While initially humanity evolved through cooperation and respect for the environment, Pathological competition has led them to think that survival of the fittest is the centerpiece of their development, blinding them to deeper spiritual truths. And it is difficult for them to recognize that they inhabit a conscious planetary entity, alive, part of another large organism, the cosmos. They have been blinded to the fact that these large organisms are interconnected, have their own defense, regulation, and balance mechanisms, like any other living being. And what happens when the balance is tipped? When a predator or a disease spreads without limits? Everything in the microcosmos is reflected in the macrocosmos. One of the ultimate goals of the masters of entropy is to decimate the human race and use the small number who survive as slaves. 
That's what they planned. But wishful thinking does not let them see that those plans in all probable futures not only would lead to the extinction of the human race, but of all that lives within Saras, including themselves. Saras is becoming a dark planet, and if the cosmos will not intervene to restore the balance through a new cycle, a new beginning, the consequences will resound throughout all the universe.